live once again from the trade show floor. With Bun Product Insider, we like to take advantage of our resident knowledge at Bun. We have grabbed Doug Bishop, the Director of Product Development, to give us a short overview of our new H5 element for simple and precise water dispensing. So Doug, can you give us a little bit more information about the H5 element and what a customer needs to know about this exciting new product? Okay, well, uh, we've been known to have pre precision temperature for our hot water machines for years now. Uh, but what we wanted to do is make it a little bit more stylish for the customer as well as uh, bring up the uh, temperature controls to the front of the unit. Uh, so we did that, and so with, now with the unit, we can simply press and hold the temperature selection button until it flashes. It takes about three to five seconds, and then easily adjust the temperature on the fly. So if the customer is one day doing a black tea and they need to be at 205, the next day they would need to feature a green tea, they have the ability to adjust it from the front of the machine without opening it up. So that's one of the features that we've created with this unit. Not only that, we've incorporated energy savings. We've wrapped the unit with a 3M Vinsulate material so that it provides us with 20% better energy efficiency than we previously had. So uh, that is a great benefit to the customers, and to not only the customers, but to the environment. We also have incorporated an energy saver mode where the customer at the end of the evening has the opportunity to take the tank temperature down to 140 degrees or to turn the tank elements completely off. And they can do that by pressing and holding the plus and minus button, which will put it to 140. If they like to turn it off, they simply press it again and now it turns the tank off. So that provides a greater control over for the evening if they would like to turn the machines completely off. Uh, the next day when they come in, if they simply press the temperature button, that will wake the unit back up and it will take about 20 to 30 minutes for it to reheat and be ready for the day. Uh, if also in programming, they can go in and do the same thing, press and hold the, the hidden programming button. It will take them through some several different layers, very simple programming, only have six levels. The first one identifies whether it's a high volume or high, high watt unit or low wattage unit. This particular unit has 4,000 watts, so we take it to the high setting. Uh, press it again, takes us to the next level when this is our temperature setting. We can do that from the front, or we can also do it in here. But we can also set a ready temperature. Uh, so if it is above 200 degrees, it will display ready with that ready light right there. So next level takes us to the uh, automatic energy saver mode. We did select this and turn it on. Then we have the ability to go in with the next screen and set a preset time. So if, if someone, right now the machine will go to 140 degrees and then with the final setting, in seven hours if no one dispenses from the unit and it doesn't refill, then it will automatically go into energy saver mode. So they don't have to remember to turn it off at night. So that is another feature that we have built into the unit. And uh, obviously the styling of the unit provides a little bit uh, more appeal in front of the house. And, uh, feel a, a very nice look. Talk to me a little bit about the footprint and the advantage for uh, a shop owner. Uh, well, with some of the, some of the uh, other units out there, the footprint, I mean, obviously the counter space is a, is a premium. Uh, so we have a, just under a seven inch uh, width. We are able to provide five gallons of hot water at all times. So uh, it's a very, very uh, efficient unit. Very, very stylish, very, very small, and, and small counterfeit footprint. Now, something I've heard around the lab is H5E and H5X. Can you explain a little bit of that if a customer were to hear that or see it on a on some marketing material? What is the difference? Okay, what we designate with an E is just the ability to take the unit temperature, maximum temperature, up to 205 degrees. With an X model, we add a steam sensor to the back of the unit. So whether uh, you're in Colorado or you're at sea level, the unit will take it to the boiling point. So at sea level, the boiling temperature is about 212 degrees. In Colorado, if you're at 5,000, 6,000 feet, it may be closer to 198 to 200 degrees. So it will always take it right to boiling. So uh, just to, without them even having to think about it, it will always have it at that, at that steady temperature. And then if, if, with either model, they also can adjust the temperature down. Our customers have, uh, Chris, have, have known uh, that our machines have a very precise temperature. Uh, the reason uh, that that is is because we've located the tank and the 
faucet assembly together so that we do not have a, a heat loss between the two. So uh, whether the unit's been sitting idle for several hours or it's just uh, been used, the accuracy of the temperature coming out is within plus or minus two degrees. So very, very tight tolerance. Probably the best in the industry. I, I know of uh, several other models uh, for competitors that are not close. And, uh, we, uh, we pride ourselves on being very accurate. Hot is hot. We need it to be very accurate. Great. Doug, thank you for your time. I know you're busy at today's trade show, and thanks for helping us film another Bun Product Insider. You're welcome, Chris.